Hello. So um, today I'm just going to make the first part of a short series on uh, shelf-stable food. Um, shelf-stable food is food that uh, lasts a long time. Uh, it usually requires very little water. Sometimes it adds a bit more, but um, shelf-stable so it'll last a long time. And uh, this series is going to be everything from reasonably priced to really? You want to charge me how much for that? So today uh, we're going to have some basmati rice. Now uh, it's 97% organic ingredients, GMO free. Uh, it's going to be 360 calories. It's just basically rice. Uh, ingredients are water, organic basmati rice, sun, sunflower oil. That's it. Going with that, also by the same company, Tasty Bite. Um, this is an Indian coconut vegetables. It's hot and spicy, made with natural ingredients. Once again, uh, no GMOs. Um, nutritional facts. So it's going to be 240 calories, 12% of my fats. Ooh, saturated fats and trans fat, 25% of my daily limit. 5 milligrams cholesterol, 90% of my salt. Uh, let's get the good stuff here. 6% of my vitamin A, 2% of my vitamin C, 5% calcium, and 5% of my iron. The ingredients are water, yogurt, carrots, coconut milk, sweet peppers, correction, sweet potatoes, onions, French beans, green peas, chili peppers, coconut oil, chickpea flour, cornstarch, salt, ginger, coconut slices, sun, sunflower oil, curry leaves, spices, uh, cumin, mustard, and turmeric. So, uh, shelf stable, this package here is good till August 31st, 2020, and the rice, uh, April 30th, 2021, um, two for four bucks. Going with that, we're going to have a little hard-pressed cider, num-nums, and um, shelf stable food is good on its own usually, but if you can add some fresh stuff, it's even better. So this stuff can, you know, if you're going hiking, uh, if you need to self-isolate, you know, this or emergency preparedness kit, 72-hour kit, keep the stuff around, date it. I would write in the front with a sharpie or something like that, the expiry date, so it's a little bit more prevalent. And like I said, some lamb kebabs from Natural Meats in North Vancouver, and we're gonna cook those up right here. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to get cooking, and what we'll do is, we'll come back, there's not much sizzle there, but it's going to be low and slow, and I'm going to chef this up, and then I will show you the end result, give you a verdict on the taste, obviously it's going to be better with that, but I'm sure this will be fine by itself. And, um, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. So, like I said, two for four bucks. It's starting to spit, so uh, I'll be back and show you the end product. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, how does one cook up shelf-stable food, especially those two, that rice and that curry there? So, the manufacturer's instructions, you can just cut the corner and nuke it, or you can warm it up in a saucepan. I would think you could probably also uh, just boil it, boil it, put it in boiling water if you're camping, something like that, but I'm not going to try that until I check with the manufacturer because you don't want some nasty plastic going on your food and uh, it's gonna let these bad boys brown off a bit more and then uh, I'll be back with the finished product and a taste test you know I said it would be back with a taste test but just wanted to add a couple more things here um, so this products fairly reasonable um, it's from natural and exotic meats in North Vancouver Dennis is the man. If you don't know your butcher, um, you should get to know one. Really good deal. Now these uh, sticker price, um, they come in, this is two packs of them. So those are $8 each, but I buy a variety freezer pack and that's $200, well, $199. And if you added the sticker prices on it, you are, you are, you're, you're gonna be laughing. Um, really good quality meat, all natural, some of it exotic. Like I said, natural and exotic meats, North Vancouver. Hit, hit Dennis up, the uh, freezer pack, variety freezer pack. You can't beat that. 
Um, so obviously I've added a bit of uh, value to the uh, to the curry and rice, which cost me four bucks. But I'm uh, I'm camping, and uh, want to have a little decadence when you're camping. So I promise you, next time we we're back, it'll be taste test time. Okay, so taste test time now. I probably you probably might have noticed in the in a previous segment there. I said I was camping. Uh, I actually mis mispronounced glamping. So um, yeah. Anyways, so here's the taste test. What I did was I just. Uh, Threw the lamb in the saucepan there for a minute to get a little bit of fat out of it, a little bit more browning. Added the sauce mixture, and which had a lot of vegetables in it, and a big, huge chunk of coconut. And then finally the rice, and just heated it up, and let's go with the taste test here. We'll just try some of the, must be a sweet potato with a bit of the rice. Look, there's a hunk of, hunk of coconut. Hmm. Not bad. Um, there's a bit of heat there. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of heat. Um, so for four bucks, obviously better if you had your own lamb. Just try that. Hmm. Lovely. All right. So. That's a, well, could be rather, it's rather pricey after you add the lamb, but um, if you get a freezer pack, it's not that bad. All right, won't be the most glamorous meal. Definitely, I'm going to be eating my time here, but um, for shelf-stable food at a decent price, um, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd eat it again. All right, and I'm going to eat it now. Talk to you later. Enjoy. I'll put some links down below uh, so you can explore some more. Talk to you soon. Bye.